huge spa. Oh, sorry. Can't notice it if I keep my head like this. Anyway, um, this is uh, the six six weeks out um, video blog. So this past this past weekend, I had uh, my first photo shoot. First photo shoot of um, of the year with, with Tony Thompson. Uh, that was fantastic. Uh, I haven't done a photo shoot in two and a half years. The last one I done was was after the British Finals in 2015, uh, where with Chris Bailey, which I did I did enjoy, but it was three days after a show and I passed every service station on the way down to Sheffield. So. Uh, I'm surprised I even looked remotely good in, in that photo shoot. Whereas with this photo shoot, I had two high carb days beforehand. One really high day on the, uh, the Thursday, and another one relatively high on on the Friday. Um, this kind of just timed well. I didn't do this for the photo shoot. This was purely because um, I needed it. Uh, I dropped six pounds between Sunday and Wednesday. Um, don't ask me where from. Um, I've a little bit of been fat, but at this point, in terms of my metabolism being so rampant, is that some of that will probably have been muscle glycogen as well. Um, like I said before in previous videos, I tend to notice that my my lower pecs kind of get kind of loose skin underneath the lower pec when I go flat. So this is something I've always noticed since I since I started competing. So. Um, but the photo shoot was brilliant, the photos came out uh, brilliantly, I'm saying brilliant a lot. Uh, so I'm looking forward to doing the next one with, with Tony, which is on the 14th of March, so that's quite good. I've still got all the, the fake tan on. So I've kind of got this junky slash 14-year-old uh, girl who's just discovered fake tan look, um, which is nice walking around some of the roughest areas of Glasgow. So. Uh, you gotta do what you gotta do though to look sexy. So basically, this week, like I said, I dropped. So the previous week, from seven weeks to to six weeks, I dropped uh, five pounds, almost five pounds. Uh, and like I said, midweek I dropped to two forty three point uh, five. So that's a six pound drop from the Sunday. But overall, after carving up for the photo shoot, it was it was a five pound drop. So yeah, that was that was quite strange. This has happened before. Um, I always put it down to um, thyroid use in the past, but no thyroid's been used this time or cytomel, no, nothing like that's been used just now. So it's clearly just a, a metabolism issue. As I get leaner and leaner, my body kind of struggles to hold on. To muscle glycogen, I'm by no means the biggest guy, the biggest class one. I'm actually the shortest class one. I'm my uh, my height just tips over the the height requirements. Um. Anyway, um. So yeah, I'm not the biggest guy, but I do find that my my muscle glycogen gets tapped into, and I flatten out quite quite quickly at the at the stages of prep. So, which is quite for me. That kind of shows me how much muscle I've added in this off season because I'm actually doing the least amount of cardio I've ever done, the least amount of um, the most amount of food I've ever done, the least amount of fat burners I've ever done. Uh, so if you kind of correlate all that, that kind of in my mind equates to to more muscle mass. I can see that I'm bigger as well, anyway. So it's it's always it's always nice. But I like to just touch on the fact that. When I was uh, at my heaviest at 292, I was going around telling people that I was going to be competing around 250, and now my lowest weight's been 243, and I'm not ready. Um, so that, I'm going to go back on what I said. I'm not competing at 250. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. That was just, that was just stupid. Um, I don't lie about my weight. I can show you my nice, sexy spreadsheet spreadsheet here. Um, and I'm, But that just shows you that don't predict a weight. Like I, I tell that to clients, and I fell for it as well again. Um, so I was two ninety two at my heaviest. If you're thinking I was going to look like an IFBB pro at two fifty, no, I'm, I'm probably going to be. Oh, 
lower than I am now. I'm not going to make a prediction again. That's just stupid. I'm just going to go by look uh, and go from there. So, yeah, don't set a, a weight goal. Just don't. This is it's everything's visual. Unless you're obviously going for a weight class, I understand that. But in terms of now, I don't know how many guys compete in the UKBFF, which is the only federation I think that does the weigh-ins. So everything else is done by height. So you don't you don't really need to bother about worrying about your weight. Just worry about what you look like. So um, yeah, that was a big miscalculation on my part, and that just shows you how fat I was at two ninety two. So I say I'm not going to go that way again. But I will, and I'll probably do it just in the same manner, eating far too much and eating far too much cheat meals. So, nutritional change, there was no changes. Um, so, I think I might have mentioned this before, is that when I get to certain points in prep, I feel I need to kill myself, essentially. So sometimes if I wake up in the morning, this is, this is kind of how prep brain affects me. If I wake up in the morning and I'm not hungry, that to me, you, is in my mind a reason to tenfold increase my cardio and drop my food. So basically, I said to Nick Vandal, who's um, like my second pair of eyes, I said to him, "I'm going to drop my food again." And uh, he said, "Would you drop a client's food who had lost six pound in three days?" And I said, "No." And he basically just told me to stop being a a bell end. Um, so obviously that. That helps massively, and he's and he's right. Like that just shows you though the the kind of mentality that I get into. I've done this every prep in the past where I I um, think that feeling like death and not being able to move or do anything is a good thing. It's not. I'm going to do a separate video on this in terms of tiredness and and stuff related to to dieting, but. Dra yeah, dra I'm, I dragged my arse most of the day. Uh, today I didn't want to talk to anyone, um, as a lot of the people that I work with will, will testify. Um, but I can still function, I can still train pretty well, so it's... Uh, I'm not killing myself in that sense. I'm just, I'm just tired and um, a bit run down. But I'm not at the point where, this is where I get to, where I can't even get out of bed. Or I'd rather piss myself in my couch because I can't be bothered standing up to go in the toilet. That's the stages I used to get to in terms of energy. So I'm doing a bit more with a bit more strategy this time. For the first, this is the first prep that I've applied this amount of strategy to, towards, and a bit more thought and and process through it rather than just thinking I have to starve myself to death. It doesn't reflect well on your look. Um, nothing else really this week, I'd say. So, yeah, that's 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 that that's that one. That's pretty, pretty short and sweet. Even though eight and a half minutes, I don't know how how do I talk for so long? I don't even think I'm talking for that long. Um, yeah, the only difference other than that is I've increased the amount of posing practice I do. So now I do it every day, five rounds non-stop, and then I do my posing routine three times round. So um, that helps with a little bit. It, People say it kind of brings you in. I guess so. I mean, like the amount, the, how hard you, you should be tensing and how hard you should be posing. I guess you're gonna be burning a little bit of calories, um, but it is more to do with the, the muscle control and just practice and being able to um, hold the muscle efficiently while you're on stage and not looking like a shaking leaf. So, it, yeah, it, I understand where people come from when they say it kind of brings the detail through. And, uh, all that kind of stuff, but uh, yeah, posing poses now up up to that. So yes, again, I thought this would be short and sweet, but it's not because it's going on ten minutes now. Uh, no one's really messaged me asking what I want to talk about, so I'm just gonna ramble and go on for ages. If you don't have anything you want to say, or what, or have any um, ideas what you want me to talk about then I'm just going to ramble about whatever I want so um, until next week bye bye